stunning for 149 rupees this is the gloss you're getting insane i don't know how i feel about this i mean is it cool sure does it look good i don't think so this is actually something i would recommend you guys go to zodio and pick up because this is nice this is something okay i'm i'm curious to see if this actually tingles and if it does how much but i think i was wrong because you can clearly see the difference oh my god that is rich and pigmented and retails for only 79 rupees that is insane only retail for 99 rupees hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel in today's video i have a lot of new oops what's that lots and lots of stickers i tell you but in today's video i have lots of new makeup from Zudio. Yes, you heard that right. Zudio now is launching lots and lots of makeup. Um, I tried a lot of their products today. This is the look that I've come up with. Um, so yeah, if you are interested, then please continue watching. So I was at Zudio the other day, spotted a bunch of new makeup and thought to myself, wait a second, why am I not picking it up and doing a haul or maybe even creating a makeup look with it? Because it's Zudio, it's supposed to be really affordable and cheap. So yes, I have everything, not everything, I mean a a lot of the products were actually out of stock some which i've been seeing on instagram floating around like the cheek tint and everything was pretty much out of stock but i still got some really exciting stuff that i really want to show you guys which is why i have like my eyes bare and i know i have lipstick but i'll wipe that off because i mostly have eye stuff a lot of lip stuff and i think some maybe one cheek stuff so let's get started also i know i'm in a little bit of a different setup today and that's because i've been trying to film this video from past two days and every time something or the other keeps going wrong like for example today i kept everything on charge and now when everything was charged like my additional portable lighting was all charged power went off and now i cannot have my ring light to work my main lighting so i'm like it's okay let's scrap that idea let's do it in natural light i've laid out everything here because there's a lot that i want to talk about firstly let's talk about the zudio glow up tint and moisturizer it says it has vitamin c and this is the only base product that i spotted this retails for 149 rupees and honestly i mean it's just tinted for namesake there's nothing that the tint is really providing like there's no coverage as such so as you can see that is the shade also i don't think this came in a variety of shades i tried to find if i'm missing out on shade name somewhere really could not find the shade name so yeah i think this is the only shade that it comes in and i mean it's fine like you can see it's not too light it's not too deep it's like a medium tinted moisturizer and once you start to blend it out there's really nothing it just feels like a moisturizer and looks like a moisturizer so yeah i'm not really excited about this truth be told because look at that like there's barely anything the only thing it has added is just a nice moisturization layer and that's why it's a little bit glowy that's all the only cheek product that i could get my hands on is this one this is the zudio cheek shine in the shade rose gold again most of the shades i don't even know how many shades are there but i this was literally the only one left in the store and which is why i only picked up rose gold because rose gold is not my vibe for cheek stuff like i like gold it comes in a nice patla sa doe foot applicator i'm gonna apply it on the high points of my face I don't know why they are calling this rose gold because this is more like a champagne, silvery champagne color. Blend it with my finger. Okay, it sets quite quickly. So you have to blend it immediately. It looks very, um, not chunky, but at the same time, the glitter particles are very much visible. Like even from this distance, I can see the glitter. So mm -mm. And it's very out there the shimmers are shimmering in this and by the way the price of this is 199 rupees i think if you pay like 50 or even 100 extra you would get really good quality strobing creams and highlighters so mm -mm, no no for me so for eye makeup i actually have quite a lot so let me quickly take you through everything that i picked up in this category i firstly have their eye shine um, liquid eyeshadow i have two shades champagne and copper these retail for 199 each i have the zudio mascara high definition black and i have some eyeliners kajal and liquid eyeliner so, so i have the shimmer eyeliner in two shades we have shimmer black 
and we have shimmer copper now these i'm actually really excited for because these only retail for 99 rupees i have another eyeliner but this one is not shimmery or shiny it just says eyeliner over here and this is in the shade green again retails for 99 rupees by the way these are claiming to be enriched with argan oil smudge proof and waterproof i have the shimmer kajal again really excited for this and this is in the shade shimmer copper again retails for only 79 rupees that is insane. I am so excited to be testing this out. So I'll of course watch the champagne shade for you guys in a while. But let's first put the copper shade on because the moment I swatched it, I knew that I had to put it on my eyes because it's so, so stunning. Um, I really hope it performs well on the eyes as well because when you swatch it, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And that's why I'm also wearing something which has copper in it so that I'm able to create a decent eye look. Should have kept a brush handy, but I'm gonna blend it with my finger itself. Right now, it looks very sheer. Let me build it up. This is how first layer looks Going like. Going a little bit patchy, like the application is not very even. I'm gonna blink or anything, just let it dry. So now it's fine after, I guess, two, three good layers. So this is the shade Champagne. Wow. Let's move on to some shimmery shimmery stuff. I'm gonna unpack the shimmer eyeliner first. Again, I have the shade black and shimmer copper. Okay, okay, Zudio, we see you, we see you. This is nice. There we go. So as you can see, once it's drying, you can see the shimmer in the liner, which is quite nice. Okay, uh, let's do one thing. I'm gonna apply this on this eye, okay? and see if we can use this as an eyeshadow because one of my favorite things to do with shimmer liner is to use it as eyeshadow. Oh my God, that is rich and pigmented and easy to apply. Hmm, not bad, not bad, this is nice. But again, looks a little bit patchy and that's understandable, I mean, it's supposed to be a liquid liner and not a liquid eyeshadow, so it's not bad. Let me swatch the shimmer black now. Okay, so this has gold shimmer in it, which looks quite nice, but I still, I think, like the copper one a lot better than the black one. Shall we do a line with this on this eye? We shall. Also guys, I'm not trying to create a serious look or anything. I'm just trying to use the products as I go, you know. So excuse me if you do not like what's happening here. Because I don't like it either. It's just a mess at the moment. But it's okay. We shall keep going. You can see it's a little sheer. So I'm going to build that up. Okay, not bad. Not bad again. Let me swatch the green liner now. This is not supposed to be shimmer by the way. I'm just swatching it in a really weird way, which is why it can look patchy. But the shade is quite nice. It's decently pigmented. Um, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Let's apply the green eyeliner as an actual eyeliner. If you're into color liquid liners, I think you'll like these. So far, it looks like a matte liner. Like with time, it's really setting down to a matte finish. There's no shine whatsoever. I have mascara. How can I forget? This mascara again is for only 199 rupees. This is the brush wand. Not bad. Let's see if it really does anything at all. The formula is very dry as opposed to other mascaras where you know you open the mascara and it's like really wet and uh, very clumpy looking sometimes. That's not happening with this which is nice. Okay. Are you kidding? I thought because I've applied the black liner, you wouldn't be able to see the effect of this mascara but I think I was wrong because you can clearly see the difference. I think this is nice. This is something, okay? I thought this was gimmicky. This wouldn't do anything. This has added lots and lots of volume. Do you see that? That's a lot of volume. I picked up this um, makeup blender for only 79 rupees. Let's again unpack this. Okay, not bad. Of course, it's not as soft and squishy as some of your premium blenders can feel, but I think this will do the job. Yeah, I think this should do the job. I will use it, but it's quite nice. But now let's proceed to lip products. Firstly, we have some lip gloss. 
that's the packaging and let me tell you this feels very trendy like nowadays a lot of brands like essence and very like drugstore brands from the us are also doing packaging like this i think like which is it just stands out color combination wise at least we have one which just says lip gloss and the other which says tingling lip gloss so i'm gonna first try the lip gloss and then the tingling one by the way this is in the shade coffee break what <laughs> hold on this is like the most cool toned lip gloss i have tried okay not bad it does sheer down a lot which is quite nice okay not bad this is for again how much 149 i think you can check this out maybe if these are available in other shades you can check other shades as well because this is nice okay but now let's give this one a shot which is the tingling lip gloss this is again in the shade plum choco crab crave crav let's see i'm i'm curious to see if this actually tingles and if it does how much am i able to wear it and all of that you know okay this shade is actually mm, this is pretty this is nice warm pinky brown shade okay this is actually something i would recommend you guys go to zodio and pick up because number one it's very high shine like you cannot tell that this is a 149 rupees lip gloss and the shade again is universally flattering this will flatter of course deeper skin tone lighter skin tones and flatters medium skin tone also it's leaving my lips really moisturized even after removing it which is nice i also have two lip liners from them these retail for 99 rupees each i have one in the shade espresso brown and another in the shade velvet wine it's a retractable pencil not a sharpenable one let me give you a swatch over here more of a peachy brown i was expecting it to be a really nice nude cool tone brown so i'm not sure if i love this let me give you a swatch of this one which is velvet wine then i have two of these lipsticks and i'm saying these because i don't think there's a name to it like there's no satin matte or whatever it just says lipstick i have two shades with me icon satin icon b1 really that's the name satin icon b1 and satin divine b2 so i guess these are satin lipsticks right off the bat not my favorite formula or shade i had to do quite a bit of tugging and pulling to really get the lipstick on and i mean i know what does it retail for let me tell you this retails for 149 and if you add like 50 extra i think you would get mars velvet matte lipsticks which i mean they have incredible shade range this is not really flattering like i don't like such shades on me let's now try something which really stood out to me in the store as well but this is their lip shine lipstick and this is in the shade shimmer lush caramel br02 again i think there were two three shades at least the reason why it stood out to me was in the store's lighting this looked stunning like it was shining it was just attracting me so much and i had to pick this up although i know i might not even wear it but let's give this a shot i don't know how i feel about this i mean is it cool sure does it look good i don't think so i mean at least not right now in 2024 like nobody is really into such shimmery lips we now have juicy lip balm and i have this in the shade uh coco delight plum coco delight details for 149 rupees and i really like the bold lettering like it's very practical and just stands out simple but bold lettering you know it says it's a balm but it looks like it's a gloss okay this is exciting i was not expecting that um the shade looks like a nice cool tone brown smells somewhere between a fruity yet chemically scent this is nice i think all the glossy stuff that they're doing is actually quite nice or maybe it's just difficult to get a gloss wrong i'm not sure but nice i mean i have dry lips so any moment i have anything glossy on my lips i love it so it could be that as well but feels comfortable it's a very light thin layer of gloss as you can see now i have these lipsticks from them which again there's no name of the lipstick but i have two shades i have matte espresso brown okay i think this comes in different uh, variants so i have a matte version and i have a creme version so so i have one 
So this is the matte espresso brown BR02. Let's give this one a shot first. And this retails for only 99 rupees. I think with a lip liner this should look even better, but for 99 rupees this is quite nice. Quite nice. The shade espresso brown that was was. Let's now try the shade uh, brazen raisin. And the pigmentation is really good. Like one swipe and my whole lip is covered. I think I only have two more lip products left. I have this gloss, which I mean, let's try it on top of this. This is just clear crystal gloss, retails for 149 rupees. I mean, now we are talking. I'm telling you, if you spot any gloss product on Zudio, go pick it up because stunning. For 149 rupees, this is the gloss you're getting. Insane. Let's now try the lip drip. So it's one of those viral products where you get matte lipstick on one side and the gloss on the other side. This retails for 199 rupees and I have it in the shade Matte Dramatic. It has like very synthetic scent to it, which I don't like at all. In a couple of seconds, it has dried completely and it feels so uncomfortable. Like I can barely do this properly uh, i have a feeling if i do that it's gonna crack so let's apply the lip gloss side now and let's see what happens by the way does it transfer currently it does transfer a bit it's taking me at least four or five dips to really cover my lip because it's such a tiny applicator i'm sorry my battery died but we are back and this has been sitting on my lips for at least 15 minutes let's do the whole test it's, I mean, so the concept is with these lip products, once it uh, dries down with the lip gloss, you should only see the lip gloss transferring and not the lip color transferring. But in this case, you can see this tiny bit of lip color as well. Let's try again. Hmm. Lip color is also transferring. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Would I recommend it? Maybe not. I forgot to try the Shimmer Copper Kajal, you guys. Let's give this a go. And I think this will really complete my eye look. Because right now, on my lower lash line, I have nothing. I tried applying the mascara, but the wand is a little too thick. So it was down, so I avoided it. So let's see. Um, again, I'm excited for this because this can actually be one of my go-to eye products. Wow. Be careful. It definitely breaks. Is happening? Is that root here? Wait, am I doing something wrong? Very underwhelming because pigmentation zada nahi hai isme. Okay, it's not bad. I think ye upper ke shade se bahut achhe se match kar raha. But yeah, that finishes the video. What do you guys think of Sudio's makeup? Have you tried it? And if yes, what have you tried it? Leave me in the comment section below. And also, are you excited to pick up any of these from today's video? Let me know that as well. That completes this video. Let me know if you guys would want me to continue the series where I try newer launches of Zudio in the future I can definitely do that and with that I've come to an end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel click on the bell notification right next to it you can follow me on Instagram right over here and that's it I'll see you in my next video bye